Ambroti Hawa Brakata Yehosha Brakti Hawa Brakata Yehosha Bahashem Rakakudash Double honors to the apostles, the elders Salutations to you, sincere brothers Teaching and truth and in sincerity Lesson will be entitled The Analysis of Eyes Closed By source, Genius.com Eyes Closed is a song by Ye The Hook and I can see it with my eyes closed. Now, feeling like my life rose, I'm about to hit the ground. Verse 1, I sold my soul to the devil, meaning the spiritual being Satan. Pronounced as Shatan in the Hebrew, meaning adversary. Kanye is telling you he bowed down to Satan. He worships Satan. He does the bidding for Satan's physical counterpart on earth, which are the Edomites, beginning with their nobility, so-called Jewish people. Kanye is employed by fake Jews. That's a crappy deal. Because the end result of selling out is your demise, your death. Least it came with a few toys, such as Kanye eventually became a billionaire. He's able to travel whenever he wants. He's able to eat whatever he wants. He's able to date whomever he wishes. All right, so he has limited, he has limited access within Esau's kingdom due to him selling out. Like a Happy Meal, this game you can never win. Why? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah gave Esau the authority to rule within his own blessing okay the game is referring to the industry the industry is nothing but a tool that is created to program the minds of the people to accept satanism okay or the nwo the industry means to spread in esau uses a-list celebrities to spread in his indoctrination getting you to break the laws statutes and the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and once these sellouts age out they bring in younger sellouts to push the same madness hence the industry Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you, including Kanye or Ye, that are rich. Now, this man has a net worth of at least six billion. For you have received your consolation. Consolation meaning your gift, your reward. And Kanye stated. Selling out came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. Matthew 4 and 8. Now this account is going into when the devil attempted to get Yahweh to sell out. And of course, Yahweh prevailed. And he countered Satan using the scriptures. Matthew 4 and 8. Again, the devil took him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a hologram for a man. And Yahweh saw America and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. Kanye fell down and worshipped Satan by selling out to Satan's 
physical counterpart on earth. These Jewish people that control the industry. Okay. Unlike Kanye, this is what Yahweh did. Matthew 4 and 10. Then said Yahweh to him, Get thee hence, man, get the fuck out of here. Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord Yahweh, your power, and him only shall you serve. Now, this showed Yahweh Shah's uh, integrity. And integrity means what? Innocence. All right. Our people sell out because they are trying to avoid or outrun or alleviate or eliminate the curses, okay, which are spoken of in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, going all the way down to verse 68. And if selling out was the true way to go. All this money, why are so-called celebrities still depressed? According to Kanye, he can't see his own kids. Okay? A billionaire that cannot see his own kids. All right? Kanye did not have his wife in check, referring to Kim Kardashian. Jake cannot outrun the curses. Now, Kanye stated that he was going to save us, his people. How? When you can't save yourself, when you cannot see your own kids, how the hell are you going to save your people? Only Yahweh Shah. Which brings me to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring you into Egypt again with ships, modern day America. By the way whereof I spoke unto you, you shall see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for a bond men and bond women. Bond meaning slaves. And no man shall buy you, no man shall redeem you, no man shall save you, except for Yahweh Shah. See, the blessing came to Esau from Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. And the blessing will be taken away from Esau from Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. It's the same for a man. Matthew 16 and 24 in the NLT then Yahushua said to his disciples if any if any of you wants to be my follower you must turn from your selfish ways take up your cross and follow me if you try to hang on to your life you will lose it but if you give up your life for my sake you will save it so Kanye is going to lose his life because he sold out trying to save it. All right? He has a different perspective from the elect. Verse 26. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? And according to Yahweh Shah, right? He's asking, is anything worth your soul? And the answer 
to Yahushua's question, we can use a bar from Ye. I sold my soul to the devil. That's a crappy deal. Lord will you edify Shalom.